So I listened to 5150. I listened to uh, Hot Summer Nights, Get Up. I'm listening to all of them. And he's, rewrite, he's rewriting the tunes. As a matter of fact, he's throwing his own licks in between the riffs. And then you get to the solo. Joe's rewriting the solo. Not only is Joe rewriting the solo, Sammy Hagar sounds terrible and he's out of it. They open the show with Sammy talking about 5150 and he goes, does anybody remember this? And he goes, yeah, we wrote this song in 1987 off the 5150 album. And I'm like, what the fuck, dude? The album came out in 1986. Sammy, how the hell do you not remember? That is the album that solidified you as a legit rock star. The 5150 album. You weren't legit. You were a one-hit wonder with I Can't Drive 55. I already know about Montrose. Nobody gave a shit. Everybody knew about Van Halen. All right? Not everybody knew about Sammy Hagar. So this bullshit that you were flying high just as a solo artist and you didn't need Van Halen, that's bullshit. Okay? You were a nobody. You were a one-hit wonder. You joined Van Halen. You become a legend. Let's be clear about that. So the fact that you can't even remember when the 5150 album was released, let alone when you wrote those damn songs. You didn't write them in 87 if the album came out in 86. Holy shit. That's why this whole thing is a clusterfuck because you don't give a shit. You don't give a shit. So you're bringing Joe Citriani and letting him rewrite these legendary solos. And let me, let me just make one thing perfectly clear here, guys. Eddie's way up here. Eddie is like, knock on every door in your neighborhood and ask all your neighbors who Joe Citriani is. They're all going to be like, what are you talking about? We don't know no Joe Citriani. Ask them who the fuck Van Halen is. They're all going to know who Van Halen is. Every one of your neighbors will be like, oh yeah, I've heard of Van Halen. But you've never heard of Joe Citriani? No, who's that? Exactly. Joe, you don't rewrite... When the guitar player's way up here and you're down here, you don't rewrite those solos. Like, Eddie rewrites your solos. You don't rewrite his solos. That's the problem here. That's why, you know, 50% of us are like, don't do it. That's why even Alex Van Halen's like, don't invite me in on that bullshit. I just saw an interview that Alex hates Sammy Hagar. Hates him with a passion. I didn't know it was that freaking deep. That they, there is no, I'll never work with you again, Sammy Hagar, because you're such a piece of shit. And I ain't going to lie, it is like, I'm still a huge Van Halen fan, but I am turned off big time by what Sammy Hagar wrote about Eddie Van Halen in his book. You piece of shit for that. I'm turned off by how careless he's thrown this tribute together and how terrible it sounds. I'm... Completely turned off by the guitar player he chose. Joe Citriani, as Joe Citriani, is a great guitar player. Joe Citriani as Eddie Van Halen sucks. Can we be clear about that? He sucks as Eddie Van Halen. The whole thing is shit. And what's sad is this is all we get now because Alex isn't going to do anything. All you got left is uh, Sammy Hagar and Michael Anthony. And God, could they have only just done it right? Why wouldn't you bring... I, you know what? It'd be great if Alex Van Halen gets Satchel on the phone on guitar. What's the lead singer's name for Steel Panther? Get him in on vocals. And maybe get Michael Anthony. I don't know. Get a bass player. Anybody can play bass on those jams. Let's get Alex. And, and let's do a real tribute. Because you know Satchel will play all those solos right. Michael Starr, that's his name. Michael Starr will sing that shit because both of them were in a Van Halen tribute and they did it right. They sounded amazing. They'll do the Roth stuff amazing. I don't know. I don't think Roth can sing anymore, to be honest with you. I don't think Roth has any energy and he's just freaking out of his mind. Maybe Roth will come in and do the vocals. I don't know. I'm just talking here. I think Satchel would do a way better job than Joe Citriani. And uh, of course, there's 10 other guitar players that do it way better job than Joe Citriani, but that's what I would, I would pay to see that, a real tribute, a real tribute, somebody that gives a shit and goes note for note, what's up puppy, I think my dog's needing to go outside, she's needing to go outside, anyway, that's all I got to say guys, it's a total clusterfuck, Sammy Hagar, you are such a turn off dude, 
Everything you're doing right now is horrible. I wouldn't pay a dime to see that shit. You could invite me for free. And I probably still wouldn't go because I'd be angry the entire time hearing you guys chop those tunes all the fucking hell. So that's just my take. Sammy Hagar completely screwed up. Joe Citriani, get back to doing Joe, please. All right, y'all have an awesome night. Peace.